What's up you guys? Today I'm going to teach you five pro tips for standing and using a strap. Welcome to a whole different world of playing guitar where you can be mobile, you can have some energy when you're playing. It's a lot of fun but it's really daunting for most guitar players as we get used to sitting and putting this thing on one leg. Now, quick disclaimer, this lesson video actually works for both electric and acoustic guitars. It doesn't matter what you're using, even bass guitars. This all applies all the same. So let's go ahead and start. Here we go. All right, so pro tip number one is to actually cinch up your strap to the same level as it would be if you were sitting. So keeping this guitar in the same place as it would be if you were sitting. Let me cut to a different little bit of an angle so you can see the stool and show you what I mean. Okay, so as you can see, I'm sitting down in a typical musician's uh, stool here. And what I've got here is my guitar sitting on my right leg as I normally practice and play. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cinch this up so that way there's no slack um, or very little slack. So you can kind of see it's a little, there's a tiny amount of looseness, just a little bit. Um, but if you want to make it as easy as possible, keep it really tight. And so mine is about, you know, where it would be if I stood. So check this out. Here's the guitar. I've got it on my body. Whenever I stand, it's about the same place as whenever I sit, okay? Now it's just a, a hair higher, but that is okay. Try to find your happy medium start to where this guitar doesn't drop any lower. Now the lower this guitar goes, the cooler it looks when you're playing, I understand that. But that's gonna make it much more difficult. It's probably gonna dishearten you and make you want to just sit down forever and just be that, you know, only the guy who can only sit and play. So trust me, just start with it high. I know it looks a little bit nerdy, but as you get more comfortable, cinch it down a little bit more and more. It'll happen naturally, I promise you. Before you know it, you'll have that sweet spot. Mine's probably a couple inches lower than where this is, uh, but I don't like it super low because the lower I get on this guitar, the sloppier I play, just a fact. Okay, pro tip number two. Number two is to basically tilt the headstock. So a lot of my students, whenever they start, it's just like this. It's kind of parallel with the floor, right? And that seems kind of natural, right? But it's actually unnatural. Most guitar players will tilt the headstock up like so. And the higher this headstock goes, the easier it's actually to play because the more you can kind of get your arm around it, you've got some more control, you can even see it a little bit. <laughs> Right? All this is a little bit more visible the closer this gets to me. Once it's down here, I kind of, oh, that's where's it going, right? Uh, and so I recommend tip number two, once you get that strap comfortable, tilt this up just a little bit, try to find your happy medium, maybe somewhere about there, for me, it's about hot noise. <laughs> number three is to find a stool or something to stand on, maybe just a really thick dictionary that you no longer read anymore because everyone's got a dictionary on their phone. Um, but to find something, I've got a stool here, I can just pull this forward. And to find something where I can kind of set my leg on that, this is about maybe a foot off the floor. And so here's what happens, if, if I put that foot on the floor, I'm able to now see my frets again, okay? And so that's the biggest dilemma I think most guitar players have is they're used to sitting and there's, whether they knew it or not, they were practicing with a slight angle where they could see all of their frets. Whenever you stand, it all just disappears and all you're seeing is just that. So, you know, it's a whole mystery down there, right? It's like, well, what am I even playing? So a great way to kind of start to get to that point is for the first maybe week or so as you're getting used to standing just in general, tilt that up, bring this guitar a little bit up on your lap um, and kind of kick your leg out a little bit and you might be able to see your frets a little bit as you play. <laughs> Alright, so tip number four, I just changed the angle up on you a little bit. Let me put my pick down. Tip number four is actually to tuck the cable. So now once you got comfortable, you're ready to just, you know, rock some faces, play some stages, it's very common to have this cable kind of loose and all of a sudden step on it and it yanks out of your guitar. I'm not gonna do that right now, but that is I've, I've literally had that happen a couple of times when I was a younger man myself. And so what you want to do is you want to take this cable. Go ahead and I've got my amp off. You make sure your amp's on standby or it's off. And simply, see what I did there? I took it out and I tucked it behind the strap here. You see it? Now it's on the inside of the strap. 
And now I'm gonna go ahead and tuck it, throw that sucker back in. Now check this out, if I go to step on it, it, it kind of has got a little bit of slack here. And with most straps, it will kind of pinch right here, so this thing isn't going anywhere once you have that little loop there. Uh, watch for a lot of musicians, they tend to do that if they're still playing with wires, that is, a lot of players are playing wireless, but if they still have a cable, they're gonna be doing that. So tuck the cable, it's gonna help a lot in, in helping you not to step on a cable when you're thrashing, you can't hear anything, you're like, what just happened? Oh, my cable's on the floor. So that's tip number four, tuck this cable, uh, you're welcome, that's a huge pro tip. Okay, and pro tip number five, I know you can't see my head here, sorry, I'm just trying to keep you know, this angle here. Pro tip number five is um, to use strap locks. So this is kind of, this is the last one, this is a big one, this is one that I do with all of my guitars. I don't play shows unless I've got strap locks. What that is, is there's a certain type of, I can actually just take this right off. Which one do you need the cable here? So, what you can do is you can actually, and you can buy these separately at any guitar store and do them yourself. Um, I always hire someone to do them just because, you know, I feel like, you know, they're going to be a little bit better at it than I am. So I basically will buy strap locks and have one of my guys uh, who repairs all my guitars uh, go and throw these on to all of any new guitar I get, I get strap locks. And I try to get this, the highest quality I can. So there's normally this little guy, you'll take him out and you'll screw uh, this new one in and then you can see there's a little hole there. And then they're going to put something under a, a certain strap, whatever strap you want. And you can basically tuck this guy in. Let me just get this angle here. See that? I can just kind of snap him in. That's not going anywhere. Okay? So if I want to take it out, I have to press this little button. It's like child proof. <laughs> it's musician proof too, apparently. Right? So I have to press that button. Pop it back in. Not coming out. Press the button. It's out. That's a game changer. I have literally got footage of myself playing shows. And like the first song in, the first chord, I'll go... Oh, and I'm trying to find, you know, and so this is going to help that a lot. This is a pretty common issue, especially as straps start to get worn. They start to develop kind of a bigger hole on this end. And it's just from, you know, taking it out, putting it back in. It starts to get a little bit loose, especially those older straps. And before you know it, you're playing a show or maybe even just a rehearsal. It doesn't matter. And you go and you drop this, especially if you're playing this exact guitar, actually. This is a Studio Les Paul, and these things are notorious for being dropped and that head being snapped off because that extreme angle. So this is gonna change your game. Now of course, in case you're wondering, there's a strap lock on this end as well. It's the exact same setup and I'm good to go. These aren't going anywhere. And then, you know, pro tip, if you pop out that cable for a second or you're just playing, you know, wireless and it's attached, you can, you know, zing this thing around your head and it's not gonna go anywhere because you've got it strapped in. That's for a different video. Maybe comment below and I'll do that. All right, that's the five tips for playing with a strap. I hope that helps. If it did, please like, subscribe, leave me a comment below, and I'll see you in the next one.